Good evening, I'm Bayan Wang with the latest from Denver 7. Hundreds of people spent Saturday at Red Rocks honoring the victims and first responders lost on 9-11. They each climbed the equivalent of 110 stories. That's the number of floors in the Twin Towers that first responders had to climb 20 years ago today. All the money raised benefits the National Fallen Firefighter Foundation and the FDNY Counseling Services Unit. The Colorado Democrats released a statement on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. It says we honor the memory of the first responders and those who died in the attacks and those who gave their lives to protect our country in the aftermath. There is no better way to honor their memory than for us as a country, no matter your political affiliation, to rise above agents of division and come together like we did 20 years ago. The Republican National Committee also releasing a statement. It says in part, September 11th, 2001 changed our lives forever. We still grieve the innocent lives lost on this horrific day 20 years ago, and we will never forget the American spirit that prevailed in the face of terror and tragedy. After another record-breaking afternoon with highs close to 100 degrees tonight, it'll be nice and quiet. Partly cloudy, 55 degrees for our overnight low. And more good news, we're going to see improving smoke conditions here across Colorado. Look at all this clear air moving into the state, all that smoke pushing into the central U.S. We also have a good chance for scattered afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow during the day. Our highs tomorrow, not quite as warm either. We'll be in the upper 80s here for the Front Range, 90s down into southeastern Colorado with 70s and 80s for the mountains. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us and be sure to check back later tonight for another update. Take care.